if the DPP accepts my argument tomorrow, I might be able to get Tracy released. She wouldn't have to go to jail. Or back to the psych hospital. She could go home, Jared. I mean, of course, there'd be strict terms and conditions, but it's a definite possibility. I guess the question is, would you want her back? Well, she asked for a divorce. You know, it's not really my decision anymore. How is he? Did he explain why he went away? Where's he been? Did you ask him about Zoe? Uh, yeah, he's not going to visit his parents. He doesn't want to see them at all. Good. What else did he say? I think you should come back to my place and we'll talk about it there. Well, what about Jason? Will we get a chance to see him too? Uh, Detective Wilson's having a final word with him. Um, I've convinced him to come back too. Don't worry, it's all right. No! No, this is not all right! You made me believe I killed you all these years. How could you do that? Tracy, I'm sorry. Because of you, I killed Philby. Do you know that? He's one of our friends. That's why I'm here. You are too weak to stick around. You left me and you left our child. All my suffering started because of you and it was all over nothing. Just get me out, someone get me out, please. <laughs> Sorry I made such a scene. Oh, mate, you had every right. Oh, it's a big, big shock. I was just so angry, you know, after everything that's happened. But I... I guess Jason being alive is a good thing. And it helps with your defence, too. Peter just told me before that he could be released. Yeah, she said. If that happens, I'm going to need to find a place to live. Do you want to move back home, Trace? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it'd be a bit weird. We're getting a divorce. Well, you're the one who asked for it, so... Yeah, but that was just because I thought I was going to jail for the rest of my life. You know, I wanted you to be free. I wanted you to find someone. I'm not, I'm not saying that we should get back together. And if you don't think it's a good idea for me to come back home then, you know, Jay, I, I understand. Well, so I'd love to have you back. Yeah. What do you want, Jared? Well, I want to look after you. But as for you and me, let's just see if you get released first, huh? It feels like we should be celebrating, but it's not really like that, is it? I mean, don't get me wrong, Jason, I'm happy that you're alive and everything, but... You messed with a lot of heads. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I just had to go away. Well, I understand that. I don't. Explain it to me. Well, after everything that happened with Philby and his dad, I had to leave too. You went to Melbourne, Beck. You didn't pretend to be dead. You never did things in halves, did you, mate? It's always all or nothing. I just remember that night sitting on the jetty, Jason, waiting for news, if he'd survived or not. That was a basket case. Yeah, I kept blaming myself for having my 21st on the ferry. I'm sorry. I know it sounds pathetic, but I'm sorry. I should go. No, you don't have to. I've got a big day tomorrow. Well, can I at least give you a lift to your hotel? No, it's not far. I feel like a walk. So when are we going to see you again? Whenever you want. I just can't stop thinking about Stephen's report, how she's been mentally ill all these years. Well, you know, it's definitely going to help her case. Yeah, I know. I guess that's a positive, yeah. I just, I just don't know how I didn't pick it. I mean, I can think of times when, when she was manic and I just, I just missed the distress or hormones. Well, I think for the most part she was functioning pretty normally. And it wasn't until Philby came back that... She lost it. Yeah. I just wish I had picked up on it earlier, you know. Could have done something to help her. Are you feeling lucky? The law is not about luck, it's about making arguments that can't be refuted. And whether the DPP has got a hangover or not this morning. Particularly when I mentioned Tracy's recent abduction by a member of the police force. And what's that got to do with reducing a murder charge? It adds to her consequent pain and suffering and it also makes the police department look depraved and stupid. Well, that's always an added bonus. 
I'm also going to tell the DPP about the lengths that Tracy went to to warn people about Sam. And the fact that she's paralysed from the waist down hardly makes her a menace to society. Well, she would make a good impression on the DPP. He likes a good argument and a pretty face. And give him a smile too, eh? It's a killer. I won't need it, but thanks. Sorry. 